Hey there. Are you struggling with the independent woman syndrome like I was? Or you want to learn more tips on how to become more feminine? This is the video for you. Keep watching. Hey girls, it's your girl Arezi. In today's video, we are doing part two to one of my videos. I did how to radiate feminine energy and it did really well. You girls loved it. We're here doing another one because you can never know enough about femininity sometimes you know you just kind of fall off and you need to get back on track that is what we're doing here today then let's go ahead and get right into the tips number one slow down like for real slow down your mind slow down your brain slow down the pace of your life slow down the chaos femininity is all about receiving that is right we're not taking that ability to pause slow down and think of our actions and how that could also come off to other people including men before we go ahead and get more tips into this video we're not feminine because of men it is in our blood is in our veins for ourselves so that we can stay sane in this world i cannot be a masculine woman and be sane in this world i'm not okay slow down and prioritize yourself take a deep breath relax and then get your thoughts out you do not have to always have the last word jump to conclusions take control of things slow down be patient relax tip number two which is really important because that's something i'm doing right now which is working in cycles especially in my menstrual so what i'll do is i'll purposely plan a week in advance, I'll make long form video. I will schedule them. That way, during my menstrual cycle, I really don't have to lift a finger and I'm doing my bare minimum routine. Work in cycles, it really will help your femininity. We, as women, have to do some sort of masculinity energy to do work. Masculine energy is to do. Feminine energy is to receive. If we want things, we have to optimize our feminine energy and optimize for masculine energy there is a balance for example i'm using my feminine energy right now talking to you but in order for it to get on the web i'm doing i'm uploading i am editing i am you know doing the thumbnail i am doing my market research on video type that is doing building is doing working in cycles when you're up and down when you're lacking motivation you set a consistent routine you're on your mission you're not feeling like doing anything sometimes so that's sometimes how we are sometimes you still have that consistency Number three, manage your maintenance routine. Hair, lashes, and nails do not have to be five hundred, a thousand, twelve hundred dollars. It could literally be a hundred bucks, especially if you do the hair at home. If you don't do your hair at home, I would say literally like two fifty because you just need to pay for the lashes, the press ons. Press ons are about ten dollars today. Lashes are about ten dollars. Keep your upkeep. Keep your maintenance routine. I'm telling you, I love earrings. So what did I do? I purchased some more earrings. I love that I don't have to do my hair every day, and I do, you know, can do different styles. What do I do? I do different hairstyles. Do things that make me feel more feminine. Well, we know this, but however, we don't do this. Release control surround yourself with people that you trust let's be honest if you surrounded yourself with people that you trust you wouldn't feel the need to control everything i'm gonna be honest controlling everything is to turn off turn off it's not just a turn off and in a relation it's a turn off in a friendship as well and even when it comes to friends talking over people trying to control every situation control where we go control where we eat not letting other people have a say in what they want to do i don't like that okay if you are around people who you feel like can't group think or you feel like you can't allow your man to leave why are you with him why are you friends with them make soft movement i'm gonna show y'all how it literally makes a difference so imagine if i just took the tea and was like this that is too abrupt you want to have soft movement this comes across as too dominant but simple as finding the handle and gracefully getting the handle picking it up and lightly Bring it down there's a difference between this and this that okay is a soft move we had to do a little tutorial but soft movements are highly important when it comes to being feminine girl soft movements have made a difference in my body okay me running through walls rushing and running to places instead of taking my time walking slow to get to place i am running in less walls okay i'm being pro i'm running into less walls okay i'm hurting myself less when i'm cooking i make sure that i'm focused and i'm doing it in a slow movement where i also don't cut myself just taking your time and you may feel like in your head oh i don't have enough time to do this i don't have enough time to do this i'm wasting time what time are you wasting Handling the object. 
if you want to be more feminine, you have to handle things more softly and more go around things a more soft, approachable way than a hard, aggressive. That's this right here screams aggressive. This right here screams feminine. Okay? Because why are we doing this to grab it? When we literally have, if we take the time to slow down, we literally have a handle right here. That's what I mean. Slow down. Next, ask for help. Ask for help. Y'all seen it on TikTok. Women out there are going on TikTok, going on the internet, talking about men don't want help. I've been out here struggling to get this in my car. Men are walking back and forth. No one is trying to help me. They don't make real men anymore. Why like, don't want to help women? It's because you're entitled to think. Oh, he's just supposed to help me just because I'm pretty or I want to make sure that I look like I'm struggling so I can... No. The reason why other people get what they want is because they just ask for help. Ask for help. You don't have to struggle in life if you simply just ask for help. Our tone of voice. We come across masculine, alpha, aggressive, and dominant. Your tone of voice is everything. Even when it comes to certain things like being high-pitched and being very low-pitched. Femininity is all about expressions and tone of voice and tonality is everything. Expressing when you're angry, taking a pause and, you know, sometimes no, showing no words or even, you know, being super excited and going up a little bit of high pitch or when you're disappointed and going low pitch. Those things make femininity just so attractive. So we're going to go into modest clothing. I actually want to do a try on haul super soon, really soon with modest clothing. But modest clothing is so feminine, okay? In my opinion, showing less is neither masculine nor feminine. It's just not ladylike. Every day I want to be closer to being a Proverbs 31 woman. Even growing up, I never showed a lot of skin. And if I do show skin on my legs, I'm going to make sure I'm covered up at the top. There's always like a balance. This clothing is so feminine because it gives that curiosity of you know you can't see all of me but you can see a little bit of me and that's all you need to, that's all you need to know that's all you need to see showing your whole body is just disgraceful and it's just not attractive and it's not cute who are you pleasing or showing your, your body to the world who doesn't even care about you you know what i mean honor your body honor your soul represent yourself well represent that your name well you don't have to show everything to get what you want in this world. You don't. Modest clothing is just the way to go. It's sophisticated. It's classy. It's clean. You can go into any space and be professional. Be trendy when it, if you want to. And still look cute. Modest clothing is really cute. I'm going to have a try on home with super soon. Just like literally what I said in the beginning. Increase your femininity by doing more femininity things. I went in with some more earrings. So what did I purchase more earrings? They make me feel more feminine, more womanly. Necklaces, bracelets, jewelry in general just make me feel more feminine. And, you know, playing tennis, swimming, working out just makes me feel so feminine. And wearing clothes that fit me makes me feel feminine as well. Do things that make you feel more feminine so that you can stay in your femininity. Make your access exclusive. Now we're going to get into some tips that I haven't really been talking about. But I kind of like, it's not a secret, but it's like definitely like things that people don't talk about. Don't make yourself so easily accessible that we can nourish our self-care so we don't get drained by other individuals. Set boundaries and limit your access to and make you make your access exclusive so that when people come around you, they know how to handle your femininity. Establish boundaries. Basically, you want to establish boundaries with anybody who makes you feel masculine or brings out those masculine tendencies. Value your fitness and your health. Fitness is so important. Value your fitness and health so that you can fit your clothes and feel good about yourself and feel confident and feel feminine and know that you look attractive and good and healthy and you love yourself even more when you're eating the right meals and having a balanced diet and having good energy and waking up energetic not that's not just being feminine but it's just being womanly just taking care of yourself and putting in good nutritious food so that you can get out of that good energy waking up happy waking up being more vibrant so that you can be more soft and be more patient and understanding okay. so our last tip is to journal practice gratitude and listen to podcasts that increase your femininity and self 
work. It is so important to make sure you increase your femininity on a daily basis. I love Spotify podcasts from many women that I love to listen to. I love feminine affirmations to remind myself that I am a feminine woman. And even though sometimes I don't have the best feminine, I'm not modeled as the perfect feminine person or standards. I still am feminine in my own way, in my own body. And practicing gratitude and just being grateful for what I have puts me even more in a more balanced polarity as well. And it can for you as well. Okay, so that's going to be my tips. There are going to be more linked down below if you want to watch more videos about how to step into your dream woman. The playlist will be right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more tips, make sure to leave them down below so we can conversate as a community. Like this video for more videos like this. And I will see you all in the next one. Love y'all. See you next video.